good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel just a few hours ago amazon has released a blog where now you can read and write data into the new amazon s3 table buckets or also called as manage icework table just using python you do not need spark so this leverages glue uh, rest endpoints and pi iceberg library so what are you waiting for let's get started all right so before we do a hands-on lab i would like to point out a couple of resources this particular uh, blog post has just been posted a couple of hours ago uh, and this blog has all the necessary steps that you need right so please go ahead and refer this particular blog so now i have pointed out the resources and now we're gonna get our hands on right so now let's get started so the first step is uh, we need to create an Amazon S3 table buckets and what we can do is I will show you the steps. So head on, head over to AWS S3 and then go to uh, table buckets and then click on create table buckets and give a name to your table buckets. Uh, you can give the bucket name as pi iceberg hyphen blog hyphen bucket and then ensure that enable integration tab is enabled. So step one, go ahead, create an Amazon S3 table buckets and enable the integration part over here. Step number two is we need to create an IAM role and policy and AWS blog post already has it, but I've just wrote a simple shell file which does the job. So either way, you can follow that particular process. So I have this shell file. All you need to do is just replace your AWS account ID, region, bucket name, uh, and the rest of everything, you can leave it to default. And what you wanna do is just simply come to terminal. Do I have it open? Yes, I do. I'll just bring it here. Okay, and let's zoom in a little bit. Just going to adjust that quickly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna say dot slash create role dot shell. And this will uh, first create an IAM policy, then it's gonna create an IAM role, and then it's gonna attach the policy to that particular role. As you can see, straightforward step. Step two, run either the shell file or create a policy and role and then attach them uh, to it. All right, step three in this process is uh, you, need to, uh, you need to basically go to lake formation. Um, so coming to lake formation, you will probably head over to application integration settings over here, right? Third option and make sure this particular checkbox is enabled. Allow external engine to access data in Amazon S3 location with the full table access. And then of course, click on save button. So after that, you need to create a database. So let's uh, take a look at the step. So on the lake formation uh, inside data catalog database, click on the word database. From the drop down, you should see uh, your catalog over here, pi iceberg blog bucket, right? Click on create database. And after that, uh, you know, simply put the name to my blog namespace, right? Whatever you like. And then in the catalog section, select the particular catalog and then click on create database. Again, I have already done that. So I'm showing you the steps simply. So once your database is created, right? Now you need to, of course, uh, uh, grant permission right so drop down click on grant click on IAM user and then search for pi iceberg role that we just created after that uh, make sure you select name data catalog resources right once you're done with that you can select all tables right and then click on super right and then just click on grant this should do the job for it all right now we can probably take a look at the python code it's quite uh, simple and easy we use a library called pi iceberg, as you can see pi iceberg and pi arrow, right? And then here we define our variables. Uh, table name is customers that we want to create, table bucket name, right? Uh, the database name that we created and the catalog name, right? And the region is US East 2 in my case. Okay, and then guess what? I just simply have a main function which will execute all the code, right? So first, uh, you know, it will get the particular schema. If the table does not exist, it will uh, create a table in the S3 table bucket. Then as you can see, we have some mock data over here, right? We simply uh, perform an append operation. If you go to this particular function, simple, right? PA.table from PyList, so we create a data frame object, and then we just call append method on, the, on, on that, right? So that's that. Then we read the data. Similarly, I have a function for reading data. Very easy, right? Uh, use this uh, pi iceberg uh, library, right? Table.scan.2pandas and it's gonna print the data frame on the console, right? And similarly, I execute the overwrite data operation which will override the data in the S3 table bucket. And of course, you could uh, execute all the other commands as well. So now copy and let's come here. 
Python 3. And there you go. Uh, so that my table uh, is created, as you can see with that particular schema. It did an append operation now on that particular S3 table bucket, and then it did an overwrite operation, and then it printed that data on the console. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and uh, now uh, you can read and write data into the new Amazon S3 table buckets using Python. This uh, gives you the flexibility to use other compute engines such as Ray for your workload. Thank you so much for watching the video and please go ahead and check out the blog. And if you have any questions, list your question in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Until then, keep smiling, keep programming and I'll see you in the next video.